Hi everyone, it's Wendy. Welcome back to the channel. I'm back today with another uh, One Envelope Wonder. And this time I'm featuring, um, I'll show you what we're making in a second, but I'm featuring um, the Floral Ledger Kit by Nicola at the Paper Cameo. Um, I know uh, many of you commented on my recent video where I showed um, my bird journals. Uh, and I had I mistakenly um, attributed the uh, these ledger pages to another maker, and they are in fact by Nicola at the Paper Cameo, and I absolutely love them. And I was working on this project anyway, and it gave me an opportunity to be able to let you know that if you were looking for those papers, they're in Nicola's shop, and it's the Floral Ledger Kit. So these pages, they're beautiful because you can use them in a document style. They print like this lengthwise. Um, but um, for this project, some of them I have printed uh, two to a page. I wasn't sure how I was going to use it in this project. So I wanted to have the two options. So absolutely gorgeous kit. Uh, this is actually from her uh, cottage kit. This is from her cottage kit. This is from a romance kit. So there's lots of absolutely exquisite papers. So this is what I made um, with one envelope. So this is, again, using paper from Nicola's kit. I've just made this little open up folded item. I've just stuck a vintage cameo card in there uh, for now. So I'm going to show you how to do this and hopefully <laughs> I don't goof it up. Um, so you're going to need an envelope. And it can be junk mail. It doesn't have to be a brand new envelope. These are my, my dollar store envelopes. So I've got the, the um, um, video a little closer because this is one that's a little bit more technical. It's not bad, but it's a little more technical. So I'm going to, you're, there is measurement in this one, and I apologize for that, but couldn't be helped. <laughs> Two, four, five. So five inches down roughly, I'm going to draw a line like that. And then I'm going to turn this this way and center it. And I'm going to draw a line to this line down the center. So you will need a ruler and a pen. Or pencil. You do not need to use a pen that's quite so dark as this, but I'm doing that for so that you can see the lines just like that. Okay, so then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to just take a little divot, just absolutely the tiniest little divot here, like that maybe less than an eighth of an inch, and then from the bottom that doesn't have the the stripe, um, you're going to cut all the way up to that divot. Okay. So the other thing I forgot to do, and that's fine, you don't have to do it right away. And then we're going to do this one on the other side. So that opens it on either side, just very, very narrow. And if yours is wider than that, it's not a problem. Don't worry about it. So the first thing we could have done was just cut both ends off, like, you know, an eighth of an inch or less, the top and the bottom of the envelope, just like that. So then what we're going to do, now we have this completely open from the bottom, like that. I put my hand in here, like this, to open it up a little bit more. And I'm just going to try and cut on that line, like so. And we don't need this for this project, so you can put it aside for another project, okay? And then the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to cut up this line and try and do it as straight as I can. Like that. So now you can see that's going to create our 
sort of doors, if you will. And this is going to be our pocket. I like my pocket to be a little bit shorter than that. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take about an inch off. It's just a little bit less than three and a quarter this way. So there we go. And, and when we fold it up, the nice thing about having trimmed the little sides a bit is that it's not going to uh, hit the, the crease. So that really is our base, just like that. So let's cut one more, and we're only going to cover one in this video, but let's cut one more. I've already... No, I haven't. I thought I'd already glued that one down. All right. We'll just make sure it's closed. And we will cut either end off. Doesn't matter which order you do this in, but the first time when I did the prototype, I did it in this order. Okay. Now, I like it to be around five inches up. You, you decide where you like yours. Take my pen. I'm just going to mark it. What's nice about using a gridded background is that you can always judge what's straight. Uh, and then here, I'm just centering that and then or attempting to center it. There we go. And then I'm going to just draw this line on the longer portion. This is four and a half inches here because these are nine and a half inches long. So five, four and a half. Okay. Whoops. Pen. Whoa, where did you go? All right. Sorry, guys, trying to find my pen. I hope my head wasn't in the frame there. <clears throat> okay, the next step is we're just going to do the little divot there and a little divot there. And this one we can just cut right up. And remember, we're cutting the side that doesn't have the stripe. And then we'll do this side as well. There you go. Two little bits. And so this should be open at the bottom. So we're going to cut like this. Use this for something else in the future. And then we're going to cut up here on the line. Like that. That's creating our little door. And then I'm going to cut this because I want my, my um, pocket to be not quite as tall. Apologies if making a lot of noise. <laughs> um, and then I'm just going to fold this up just to make sure that these are going to fold in okay and they are. So that's it. That's how we do it. As simple as that. Okay. So the next part is to cover the, um, the back. And I just open this up like that. And I'm going to, actually, I'm just going to trim the side of this. How long is that? We could measure it. Eight and a quarter. Okay. I can't measure eight and a quarter. With, we could do it this way, or we can trim it either way. The last one I did, I just trimmed it. I kind of eyeballed it and trimmed it, but why not? Let's live being, let's try and, let's try and cut it to size. So I'm gonna go just over eight and a quarter just to hope I haven't goofed. And there we 
there's my mark. Paper is straight, I think. And we know it's five, don't we? So I'm going to just cut a little bit off the bottom, and then we can cut the top off of this afterwards. Um, because we can trim the top, no problem. But, well, I don't want to cut my these beautiful flowers off, so I'm going to take a little bit more off the bottom. Okay. So, yeah, those are going to fit now. Okay, perfect. I'll just move this out of the way. And... Can glue it on there. That's great. And we're going to have a little bit extra at this side, but we can trim that as well. Okay. Take the glue out. You could use glue stick for this. It does dampen dampen things up quite a bit. So um, you may want to use art glitter glue or something quite like that. I like to put a lot of glue at the crease. I find you're less likely, if you put a lot of glue at the crease, for it to bunch um, when you fold it. Okay. And then I'm going to go right down to this bottom corner. And push down. Like that. That works. There's a lot of white. Probably should have used the blue one well, with the blue interior so you could see better. But um, you may be dealing with a white envelope yourself. So I'm just going to trim this to the top. There we go. Here's the paper from a previous cut. And I can see we went over. A little tiny bit there, so I can trim that as well. There we are. Okay, so that is the outside. Really cute. Now, it's important to, even though I don't want to really fold it all the way, it's important to put your fold. Normally, I don't like to do it at this point, but. Um, when I'm doing things, when I'm gluing, but we need to know where that fold is, otherwise it's going to be harder to fold once we put the interior in. And actually, because I put lots of glue on where those folds are, we don't have a problem. My goodness, that's pretty. By doing two to a page, where I printed two to a page, I got these two gorgeous images next to each other. That's just super pretty. Okay. All right, so we've got that. Now, I used, do I still have it here? I do. I used, this is some old, some vintage um, paper from a pad that I used, and I just thought it looked really nice, and it fit quite nicely. Um, it may mean when we put it on that we just have to trim the top a little tiny bit. So I'm going to glue that down. I did, I liked having the plain paper because then it's something you can write on. You can write on the uh, inside of those doors. That's what I was thinking anyway. So we'll put the glue down. Like so. And I'm gonna line this to the bottom and the side because if it's too short at the top, we could patch it or I can just cut it. Just cut that little bit off at the top and that will be fine too. So we've got that. You can see where those creases are. Just gently, like so. And let's see. I have some paper. It's not quite big enough. How about a bit of that paper that we took off from the front? Oh, that's great. Okay. Just going to trim that a little bit more. Okay. 
and you can use that. Okay. Yeah. So we'll use it from the bottom since we're going to trim off the top anyway. So I'm going to just put glue down here like so. So how's everybody doing? We're doing well. Um, got the um, some of the kids coming for supper again tonight. I made tortellini yesterday and I had far too much. So um, they're going to do me a great favor of coming and eating it. <laughs> so there you go. So like I said, this one is a little bit more finessed than the others, but um, I think it's I think it's pretty cool. It's amazing what you can do with just one envelope. This is something I'm learning myself. So I just cut that off at the top and it's still plenty. So what I want to do is cover this bit. Um, so it's straight up and down that way. Let's see what would we like to put on it. That's too small. This would be pretty. Okay. So I'm just gonna cut it out more bigger than I need, just so that I can use it in here a little bit more in my cutter. And I'm gonna measure how wide is that? That is just a tiny bit over four inches. Okay. So I don't want to lose the tulips. I'm going to cut like this. I'm going to cut it up a little bit because I don't know how tall I need it to be yet. Just a tiny bit over four. Okay. So, we want those tulips, so I'm going to have to cut it down a bit, see where it overlaps here. I'm going to take another almost a centimeter off, let's see, I'm on my top of my tulip. See, what I can do is I can make it taller and I can just choose to fold so that I still see that tulip, the top of that tulip, so I can make make a false top. I'll show you what I mean. So I won't lose that tulip. And this should fit. Okay, so fold it first because it's hard to fold it correctly when it's wet. So I'm just going to put some glue here. Cover that all up. And then I'm going to put a, just a bit of glue here at, on the bottom because I'm actually going to take this a little bit over so that I don't have a white strip at the bottom there. I'm going to fold that a little bit over like that. Okay, so now you can see what I mean. I folded it higher than the envelope. So where's my pen? That line right there is the top of the envelope, but I folded it higher so that I could get that tulip in. So all I need to do is put some glue here and then fold that over like that. And then you fold this up like so. Gosh, those are pretty together, all of those colors. Gonna be a little bit stiff before I glue that down. I just want to make sure that these are going to close. Okay, there they are. Make sure it's not hitting the pocket itself is not hitting where the crease is. And if it if it is a little bit, then you can just. Trim a scotch off. 
like that. I think this one is hitting a tiny bit too. You can see a little tiny buckle there. It's hard to cut it from that side. So because I'm right-handed, so I'm just going to go like this. And cut it like that. So this way, yeah, it folds much better. Okay. And you very see only a tiny bit of that little bit of an overlap, but I figure these are the sort of things that you might want to um, clip in to a journal rather than uh, rather than glue in. Be lovely for happy mail. So I'm going to move this out of the way. And then I'm going to grab my, oh, I could have cut that. I didn't put a notch in. Let's see, do I have, am I still able to do it? Let's see. There we go. We got a little notch in there before the glue dried. Um, so now I'm going to cut a tab with my whale tail tab cutter. And you can put this tab on either side, whichever one you prefer. I'm just going to get some glue on there. And I'm going to set it up here. Because it doesn't have to. This is not such a big piece of ephemera that it needs to be right in the middle. I think it's more interesting when it's not in the middle. I also like putting piece of washi tape just down here along this side just like that and then fold it in I just think that looks cool as well okay now just get my put the cover on my glue until we use it again and get my crocodile I'm just going to put a hole here. And I'm going to grab myself. Oh, I think I have one out. One or two out. There we go. I'm going to set that in there. Like that. Perfect. And then I'm just going to grab a piece of, um, I think this is hemp. And I can just take about, I don't know, five inches that is folded. And then I have a longer bit. And I'm just going to put that in there. And then I hold on to the smaller piece and then we will tie it. This one's, I think, even nicer than the first one I did. You get more proficient as you go. <laughs> That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Let's see. There we go. There we go. I think that is super cute. I'm just going to just double check the time. Okay. We've got a little bit of time. Maybe we will see about... Um, just going to grab and make a tag from Nicola's um, cottage kit. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just busy back here. I really like these. This this is one of the pages from her cottage kit, and I just cut it um, double. Put two to a page. And, oops. 
and then it makes for a really sweet piece of this emma. So I'm just going to cut that. And it's really simple because you just have to glue it to itself, really. And if you fold it like that, what I'll do is I'll glue it and then I will I'll trim it again. Okay, so we'll get our glue one more time. And I'm just going to put glue all around so I can see through with the lighting um, the back of the piece so that I can glue it to here. Now, you could, if you wanted it firmer, you could glue it to a piece of cardstock or you could glue it to a piece of. Um, some vintage paper first if you want it but that does give it a nice heft normally I wait for this to dry before I would use my cutter but we're living dangerously today so let's see I need to trim a teeny bit and off the bottom stickums on here. Let's see, will this fit in the in our little pouch? Yeah, that will fit in there really nicely. It's super cute. And you can what I do is just trim the corners. It makes it a lot easier to fit in something when you do that. Let's see, do I have a little piece of lace or something I might want to put? Oh, I thought I saw a piece of lace up here somewhere. Hmm. I did not, but I do have some lace. So I'm going to cut, cut a piece. And We'll stick that on top. I just think it would really add a little extra. So, gosh, that's pretty. The question is, do I want to just have this much that bit? Either way, I'm going to end up cutting it in half. So I might as well just cut it in half and then decide. Here we go. Move this out of the way. So we can set this here. I like that. Or we could have this one. It has a little bit more fluff to it. Um, I think I like the other one more. I think it's just a little bit more subtle. So we'll put our glue down. I tend to, whenever I put lace on the top of a, a tag or anything, I tend to run it under the machine afterwards, after it's dry. But I think that looks super pretty. And it's going to look super cute coming out the top of this. Yep. There we go. Bring this around, and I will... Give it a tie. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you're going to give it a try. I know it's a little bit more, it's a little more fiddly, but it really, just if you take your time, it's not at all difficult. Where did I put the other one? I'm having one of those days, aren't I? Oh well, it's all good. <laughs> it's around here somewhere. Um, and I don't think it's that messy. Oh, well. So there we go. That's what we made today uh, with our One Envelope Wonder. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. And I look forward to seeing you all next time. Take care, everyone. Bye.